Hey guys, Dirty Keto Grandma here. Just checking in on Wednesday morning. Uh, Midweek check-in. Make it a real quick little... Look, I was having a rough morning, man. We got up. We did our 5 o'clock walk. I was feeling alright. I mean, feeling good. I had energy. Uh, I was dragging a little bit. Kind of tired. But we got back and he gets in the shower and... I think I was like posting something, tweeting something about yesterday's Waffle House video. And then I go in to feed the cat and I don't know, maybe I got in my head or like, that's the weird thing with like depression and anxiety, man. Not so much anxiety, but well, yeah, anxiety too. It like comes out of nowhere. Like you'll be feeling fine and then all of a sudden you're like super anxious or you go into a cold sweat and you're like real nervous and like with me, man. It's so chronic sometimes, like, I go into a state of paranoia, like, I'm, I'll be at work, like, all of a sudden, I'm super paranoid, like, I think my boss is going to come out and fire me for some reason, and I don't know why, I'm just like, all right, but with the depression, man, it will, like, people that don't have it, or don't understand it, or deal with it, or just, like, they don't relate, because they just don't understand like, it has nothing to do with, like, just being, like, it just came out of nowhere, man. I was just, like, in a funk. I didn't want to work out. I'm just, like, ugh. I'm feeling, like, ugh. I even got, like, out of my walking clothes, fed the cat, got out of my walking clothes. My husband left for work. Well, my husband left for work, fed the cat. I usually leave on, like, my tank top and my pants that I walked in, and I'll just work out in that. And I took that off. I was like getting ready to step into the shower and skip my workout. Because, you know, that's what depression does to you. When you are depressed, you don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to work out. You have no energy. You immediately just feel like every bit of positive energy or just energy in general that you had is just completely drained out of your body. And when you don't, oh man, it's just crazy. So I was literally like about to step in the shower, skip my workout and just be hoping that the shower would make me feel better. But I step back and I'm like, Mindy, don't, what are you doing? Don't start skipping your workouts. Like you're just, you're not even six months into this yet. You're just pushing, you got another week and a half before you hit a full five months. You've never, like I'm horrible was horrible because I'm trying to get better at starting things and not finishing them out, not seeing it through. With work and my family life, not so much. Like if I say I'm going to do something, I do it and I stick to it. But this workout thing and eating healthy and doing, staying on track and staying motivated, it's tough some days, man. Like I said the other day, you got to be your own pep squad. Like, so I backed up, took two steps back, looked at myself in the full body mirror and was like, yeah, you're not there yet. You can't be skipping a workout. So I put my tank top back on and my workout pants and I went out to the living room, pulled my workout mat out and put my 20 minute cardio video on. Because then at this time I'd wasted a 10 minutes. So I skipped my dumbbell full body workout, which isn't a huge deal. Deal Skipped it. That's the funny thing about that. Or that's the good, crazy thing. You can skip. I mean, it's okay. Look, I ended up working out. And I sweated, and I huffed and puffed, and it took me a minute to get in my mojo going, but once I did, and I got in that shower and felt better and rinsed it all off. Hey, life ain't always a bowl of cherries, people. And even if it was, not everybody likes cherries. I don't. Ugh. Unless they're like candied and in a jar. You know, the maraschino kind? I don't even think that's a real cherry anymore after that, but... A, I feel like a million bucks. Now, an hour or two into my shift, come lunchtime, come afternoon, it's sunny, and I'm feeling like, I, hey, things could change any moment. That's what you deal with with depression, depression and anxiety. That's just what comes with it, man. You got to self-motivate. You got to, like, get back on track, and you got to just focus on the good, man. Do what you can. Focus on the good. Have a good day. We'll check in later and see how things are going. And, hey, enjoy the day. You know what I mean? Like, take the time to enjoy the sunshine, smell the roses, take a walk today, enjoy the fresh air.